going on? Why are the doors locked? <laughs> Alice, are you in there? Knock, knock. Who's there? Cheese. Cheese who? Cheese, stop knocking and come in to see me. <laughs> <laughs> but not Bonnie. Why didn't he like my joke? I don't know. But I thought it was funny. Thanks. I think everyone should have a good laugh on Mouseling Day, don't you? I do. I'm so excited about our Mouseling Day dance that I don't think I'll be able to pay attention in class. Me neither. Do you think I should try to make AJ laugh now? Yes. Hello, AJ. Knock, knock. Uh, who's there, Alice? Lettuce. Lettuce who? Let us take our seats. It's time for class to start. Well, I'm not sure I can take my seat. Whoa! <gasps> Are you all right? Uh, I'm fine, but I need some help to get up. What's wrong, AJ? It's my new jeans. My cousin from New Cheese City gave them to me. He's the greatest, best cousin ever, and I want to dance just like him. Why can't you? I can't even sit down, so I'm sure I won't be able to dance. Can't you go home and get another pair? There's no time. I don't want to miss school or the celebration. Well, don't worry. We'll help you figure out how to dance in those jeans. But first, we need to help you sit. Oh. Um, could you do me another favour and not tell anyone else about my embarrassing jeans problem? We promise. <laughs> But keeping a secret like this is not going to be easy. All right, class. Is everyone ready for some warm-up exercises? We're ready, Miss Mimi. No. Relevé. Now the retire position. Oh no! Beautiful position, girls. Thank you, Miss Mimi. <gasps> nice! Nice! You all look great. I think you've all warmed up enough. How about a waltz? Oh, uh, Miss Mimi, can we do a different kind of dance today? What kind of dance would you like to do? Um, how about maybe a dance where you don't have to bend? <gasps> like a robot. We can do the robot dance. <gasps> I am a robot. I like to dance. And I know just what music to play.
Thank you. You're, You're welcome. welcome. <laughs> I can't wait for you to be my partner in the showcase tomorrow. It will be our first time dancing together at your new school. We have to be extra good. I have an idea. What if we end our dance with a twirl? Or a leap? Or a cartwheel? <laughs> Actually, I've made up all the steps for our dance and a cartwheel is not in it. Oh, okay. Hi, girls. I came up to have a peek at your new dance. Here's a few of the steps I made up. Nice choreography, Angelina. Choreography? A choreographer creates a dance like an author creates a story. Wow! I love being a choreographer. And I know dancing makes little girls very hungry. Yes, I'm hungry. I've brought you some lovely sandwiches. Now I'm off to check on Polly. Thanks, Thank Mum. Thank you. Poor Polly's in bed. She has the sniffles. My dad says almost everybody in Chipping Cheddar has the sniffles. But we don't. So... We, we can, can dance, dance and dance! Yes! Bye, Alice. See you tomorrow. This will be the best dance with a partner showcase ever. Because I have the best partner ever. Attention, dancers. Marco will be my helper today. Don't forget. All dancers in the Dance with a Partner Showcase must have a partner. Vicky's going to be my partner. Gracie and I are going to do a hip-hop dance, Miss Mimi. I'm dancing ballet with Alice, my absolutely, positively best friend from where I used to live. Wow! Alice is coming to the showcase. Yes. Have you and Alice been practising? Yes, a lot. I did some really fancy choreography for our dance. Well, we didn't plan ours. We make up new moves as we go along. <laughs> hey, it's fun! <gasps> Stupendous! We just dance with the music. It's called improvising. We use steps we know, but we don't plan the order. <laughs> so our dance is a little bit new and different each time. <laughs> don't you want to improvise too, Angelina? I don't think so. You and your partner did a wonderful job in the showcase, Angelina. Congratulations! <gasps> Thank you, Miss Mimi. Your choreography was brilliant! And thank you, Angelina. We did all the steps just like you said to. And we didn't make any mistakes. Hooray! Angelina! 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 I can't find our music player and we need it for our showcase dance. I have an extra player at my house. I'll lend it to you. Oh, thank you, Angelina. Thank you. Oh. Camembert Academy. Dad, it's so, so beautiful. This is great. But it's a lot bigger than my old school. Hi. Are you new? Welcome to Camembert. I'm Vicky. This is Marco. <laughs> You're going to be in our class. Have a great day with your new friends, Angelina. <clears throat> Mum and Polly will be waiting for you after school. Thanks. Bye. Bye, Dad. Come on, let's go and meet Gracie. found the new girl. Hi, I'm Gracie. I'm Angelina. Is it true that at this school you get to dance every day? Every single day. And on the first day of school, all the new kids get to dance or sing or play music right here. <gasps> wow, what a stupendous stage. 
We call this the lunchtime theatre. Because it's a theatre where anyone can get up and perform while we eat lunch. Sign up! You can be the first new student to dance today at lunchtime. And when you finish, you'll get a red rose. A red rose? <gasps> wow! I can't wait! <gasps> oh! You're going to love it here, Angelina Mouseling. Wait a minute! How did you know my last name? Our dance teacher, Miss Mimi, told us all about you. <gasps> Finally, I'm going to meet Miss Mimi. Good morning, Miss Mimi. Good morning, children. Oh, it's happening. I'm about to meet Miss Mimi. Uh-uh. These flower boxes are supposed to go outside. You can stay here and dance. Oh! oh. I'll see you at lunchtime. Oh, 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 oh! Oops. Don't worry, my cousin's just like you. She's clumsy, but I'm always nice to her. That was, um, a new ballet move. A grand tummy twirl. I was just trying it out. Oh, I've done ballet before. I used to take ballet too. Oh, what kind of music is that? You've never heard Celtic music? It's from Ireland. No. I'm playing so Vicky can practice. My Irish step dance. because you can do it in a really small space. Even on a tabletop. Want to try it with me? Um, I only know how to do ballet. Mm, I've got to get my bag. First I fall on my face in front of everybody. And then I'm the only one who wants to dance ballet. I'm beginning to think I'll never, ever feel at home at Camembert. Come on, Angelina. As soon as Grace is finished, it will be your turn to dance. Oh! How can I just do ballet after she does that? Go on, Angelina. You've still got time before lunch. What music should I play? I'm a pretty good accompanist. <sighs> um, not classical music. Something more jazzy. More like what Vicky does. Uh, OK. Um, and uh... what Gracie does. Gosh, it's hard to play along with that dance. Oh, it's not your fault. I don't know what I'm doing. <gasps> oh. Oh. Good night, Angelina. Good night, Gracie. Good night, music box. Good night, books. Good night, moon. Gracie, who are you talking to? Oh, just things in the room. I like to say good night to everything.
Good night, Mousy. Hmm? Good night, window. Good night, door. Gracie, I'm trying to read. Sorry. Good night, pictures. Good night, good night, lamp. <sighs> Gracie, I can still hear you. It's okay. I finished. Time to turn the light off now, girls. See you in the morning. But I didn't get to read The Fairy and the Mouse Maid. Never mind, Angelina. You can read it tomorrow. All right. Night. I was beginning to think that sharing a room might not be so much fun after all. What on earth are you doing? Playing the harmonica. And it's trickier than it looks. But why are you doing it so early in the morning? I need to fit in two practices a day. Did you know? You can blow it like you can other instruments, but you can breathe back in and it plays different notes. But, Gracie, I like to get up slowly. And look! I can make it make a wobbly sound if I wiggle my paws back and forth. That's called a vibrato. Oh, and too much noise in the morning makes my ears curl. Good night, music box. Good night, books. Good night, moon. Good night. Not that again. I'm trying to read. But, Angelina, I do it every night. Gracie, I want to find out if the mousemaid rescues the fairy. And you're ruining my reading time. Well, if that's the way you feel. I'll go and sleep somewhere else. <sighs> I don't know why I bothered. She is such a misery mouse. <sighs> now I have my room to myself. But it does seem awfully quiet. Harmonica music is quite nice. And I really like drawing with Gracie. <sighs> Maybe I haven't been a very good friend. Oh, Mousy. I should have remembered that Gracie is my guest, and she's probably missing her mum and dad. I heard you playing the harmonica. Do you mind if I come in and listen? Of course not, Angelina. I'm sorry I've been such a grouchy mouse. I'm sorry I ruined your reading. Maybe we could read your book together. I've got a better idea. Let's do the pirate dance just once before we go to sleep. <laughs> yes! always makes me feel like spring. Rounders! Why don't we all play? Huh? Uh, but you said we can't play outside with snow on the ground. We could play inside. Oh, no.
no. My mum has very strict rules about not playing ball games in the house. I'm not talking about playing real rounders. We can play pretend rounders. <sighs> See, this is my imaginary ball. And we can swing imaginary bats. Like this one. Mm. And we can run around imaginary bases. Exactly. Fantastic. This could be our imaginary rounders field. The couch will be first base. The chair is second base. This is third. And this is fourth base. I'll be the bowler. I'll bat first. Angelina, you're on my team. Gracie, you take field position. Better move out of the way, cos I'm going to hit a rounder. Oh, you think so? Like you only made it to first base. My turn. Slugger Angelina is up to bat. says that in Moscow, Russia, they decorated eggs before there even was Easter. Really, truly? Yes, it's to celebrate how the world comes back to life in the spring. Oh, you know a lot of mouselings from a lot of different places. And in Moscow City, Mexico, they hollow out eggs, fill them with confetti and crack them over someone's head to surprise them. I don't want anyone cracking an egg over my head. Well, how about if we dye hard-boiled eggs? I think we have some in the kitchen. Ah, Angelina. Sounds like you're all having fun out there. What are you up to? It's a surprise, and you're invited to see it when it's ready. How lovely. I love surprises. Is there anything I can do to help? Well, actually, there is, Miss Mimi. Have you got any musical instruments we could use? Of course, Angelina. There's a whistle. Mm-hmm. And... Oh, where are those... Aha! Here they are. Some kazoos. And a drum. Thanks, Miss Mimi. How do you get it to make that sound? You sort of hum as you blow into it, like this. <laughs> That's right. Perfect. We need to decide which 
song we're going to play. <gasps> Hello, everybody. Are you listening? Hmm. Quiet! Oh. OK, so, are we all ready? But what song are we going to play? What about this one? Yes! Perfect! <laughs> Stupendous! Now let's march! One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, follow me and turn left. <laughs> <Whoa>! <laughs> 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 it's not funny. I wanted to do a parade, not a circus. Huh? I think it's time to go and see how they're all coming along. Is everything all right with your surprise, Angelina? No, not at all. Everyone's doing something different, and no one's listening. Hmm, sounds like what they need is a strong leader to show them how to work together and act like a team. Maybe. And it always helps to solve a problem by breaking it down and working out exactly what went wrong. You're right, Miss Mimi. Thank you. Ah. Oh. Good morning, Maslings. I can see you've worked very hard collecting paper for recycling. You bet, Ms. Mimi. And this year we're going to work even harder. Now you're old enough to help with the fundraising project. Awesome! The Chipping Cheddar Earth Club wants to plant 100 new trees all over town this year. We'll be raising money to help. I wish we could raise money by dancing. In fact, you can. Really, truly? Really, truly. We're going to have a dance-a-thon. What's a dance-a-thon? People make promises called pledges to give money for every hour of dancing. Sometimes dancers even get to dance all night. That sounds too good to be true. Angelina Ballerina has been dancing for 40 days and 40 nights, stopping only for an occasional piece of cheese. a five-minute nap. She will now accept a prize for saving the world by dancing. Angelina! Angelina! You probably oh. won't be staying up all night, but you will need this permission slip to stay up late for a good cause. I think our good cause needs a good DJ. But you are an AZ, not a DJ. DJ stands for disc jockey. They select and play music on the radio and at parties. I will be non-stop hip-hop because nighttime is the right time. I'm going to make a pink cheese sculpture as big as my house. <laughs> You'll need a lot of cheese. <laughs> Maybe you should sculpt something a teeny bit smaller, Angelina. And less smelly. Look, everyone. This is a painting by Cheddar Dega, a very famous artist. Did Cheddar Dega like to dance? He wasn't a dancer, but Dega used dance as inspiration for his work. You mean he painted the dancers from real life? Mm-hmm. He observed dancers in ballet class and created beautiful paintings. Because dancers are beautiful. Très belle. I would just love to be a painter like Cheddar Dega. A fabulous idea, Vicky. You mean I could? Of course. Art takes practice, just like ballet. But if you use your imagination, the sky's the limit. Does that mean everything can be pink? Even the sky. Art can be anything you want it to be. Just remember to be creative and have fun. I promise to use my imagination. And I promise to have tons of fun. 
Would you care to dance at this magnificent ball? The lords and the ladies have come one and all. From here it is clear while we dance and we sing using our imaginations. We can be anything. I imagine I'm the captain of a ship on the seas where adventure is waiting for me. A prima ballerina is all I've ever wanted to be. To lay in the grass and gaze at the sky Finding shapes in the clouds as they float by Today I'm a painter, tomorrow a spy Maybe one day a pilot flying high in the sky From here it is clear while we dance and we sing Using our imaginations We can be anything Picture of ballet dancers, just like Cheddar Degas. So I'll need some dancers to pose for my painting. Hmm, where could I find some? I know one dancer you could use. And I know one too. The Mousetropolitan Museum proudly unveils its newest masterpiece, the Angelina. Angelina? Oh, um... <laughs> now, you two have to stay really still. No problem. Of course. <laughs> this is not as easy as it looks. <laughs> uh -oh. My models have the giggles and the jiggles. Wow, Vicky. You're a real artist. Ms. Mimi gave me the art supplies. This is an easel. It holds the canvas. And here is the most important part, the paint. You sure you have enough pink? <laughs> yes. <laughs> now, pose like this. Tondu. Tondu is too easy. But it's so beautiful. How about if I do an arabesque instead? And I'll do a passe. I don't think that's such a good idea. But why? You might get tired. Don't worry, we can hold these poses forever, right, Gracie? <laughs> Absolutely. All done. <laughs> my, my, Marco. What do we have here? My project for the art show. I've always wanted a blue base. <laughs> it sounds like your artwork has inspired your music. Yeah, a blue song is a cool song. I think our art show could use some blue bass music. Can you play that tune on the real bass? You bet! <laughs> Me too. And Alice is going to be my assistant. Oh, goody. Two teachers. I'm going to learn really fast. That's the plan. The Angelina Mousling Royal Academy of Ballet is now officially open. There are five positions in ballet. This is first position. Your feet look funny, like a frog. Ribbit. <laughs> it's called turnout. Start like this for now. This is second position. Wider second, Polly. Third. Fourth. Turn out, remember? Too hard. But turning out makes you look great. 
graceful to the tips of your toes. How about turning in? Like a pigeon, get it? That's not funny, Polly. Get back to the bar and do first position again. But I'm tired. We just started. Polly, where are you going? <laughs> Don't worry, Angelina. We'll try again tomorrow. One, two, three. One, two, three. I'm learning to play the castanets. Did you know that Spanish dancers hold castanets in their hands and click them as they dance? You're cheating, Marco. You're not holding them in your hands. My hands aren't quite big enough yet. This helps. It's a castanet machine. It doesn't look like any machine I've ever seen. Uh, it's not really a machine. It's just castanets attached to this block of wood. See? They can click really fast and play cool rhythms. And a one, two, three. Whee! Yes! And a one, two, three. I just need to make my gingerbread house and I'm ready for Dance Like a Cake Day. Add eggs to the sugar and the flour. Blend until light and creamy. What kind of cake are you making, Angelina? I'm making a gingerbread house that goes with my dance. But Hansel and Gretel didn't live in a gingerbread house. I know that, Polly. But the witch locked them up in her gingerbread house. But they tricked her in the end and ran away. I get it. A birthday dance would match a birthday cake. Where was I? Did I add the eggs? And a football cake? would go with a football dance, wouldn't it, Angelina? And a Christmas cake would go with a Christmas dance. Mum, my gingerbread cake is ready to go into the oven. <laughs> OK, Angelina, it won't be long. I can't wait! Angelina, your cake is ready. <laughs> Watch out, girls, it's hot. <gasps> oh, no! I'll never be able to make a gingerbread house out of that. Oh, dear. <sighs> I'm sorry, Angelina. What am I going to do now? Why don't you go and see how your friends are getting on while I try and work out what went wrong with your cake? Okay, Mum. Okay, let's begin rehearsal. First, we listen to the music. Hear are those violins. Ooh, they sound like sparkly fairy dust. <laughs> <laughs> 
That's right! The violins are setting the scene. Once upon a time, there was a magic forest. And in that forest lived... A fairy named Fern? Mm-mm. Mm. A magic tree. We begin with two échappé sauté, then stop in fifth position. Also in that forest lived... A fairy named Fern? A forest sprite. Alice, chasse around the magic tree and finish in fourth position. Then, all the other magical creatures of the forest enter. <gasps> Not you, Angelina. And dance happily about. What's everyone so happy about? They're happy because Fern the Fairy is here. Oh, that's me! What happened to the music? I haven't danced yet. That was just the introduction, Angelina. And now it's over. But don't go away, Fairy Fern. Your friends want to give you gifts. <gasps> Come along, flowers. You too, Magic Tree and Sprite. Beret in a circle around Fern. Um, did someone say something about gifts? Elf Prince, that's your cue. The bad fairy is coming. Is that what I think it is? The enchanted pillow. As soon as you touch it, you'll fall asleep. No, Angelina, don't don't run away. Take the pillow. Do I have to? Mm-hmm. Now lay down your head and fall fast asleep. But I'm not in the least bit tired. Angelina! <sighs> Angelina, what are you doing? You're supposed to be asleep. I'm sleepwalking. Fairies do not sleepwalk. You're under a sleeping spell. I know. Never to dance again. Maybe I can help Vicky backstage. Hmm. <laughs> it's not fair, Vicky. Everybody gets to dance a lot but me. Alice gets to be a sprite. All I get to do is sleep. Look on the bright side, Angelina. When you sleep, you get to dream. But I don't want to dream. I want to dance. Just like you wanted to paint. I know. It's so much fun. Oh, whoops. Well, being Fern the Fairy isn't fun. It's the worst role in the whole ballet. Maybe you could swap with someone. I tried, but Miss Mimi made me promise to wait until rehearsal was over. Oh, I wish everyone would just hurry up. Angelina! Angelina! Can you come back out here, please? Your forest friends have been looking everywhere for you. They want to break your spell. Break my spell? You mean, Fern is going to wake up? Yes, indeed. But she has to fall asleep first. No problem. Watch this. Well done, Fern. Very convincing. Okay, magical friends, it's your turn. Now what? Now you leap to your feet and dance.
I dance? That's right. You dance and dance and dance. Excellent, Fern. Okay, sprites and magic trees, take Fern's hands and join in. Hear the music? It's getting louder. That means the prince is coming. I slept and slept and slept. But now I get to dance and dance and dance. Miss Mimi was right. My part was important, and so was everyone else's. All our parts came together to tell a stupendous story. And that's the best part. <laughs>